when times are rough and the going gets tough when you have nowhere to run and you hit rock bottom the only way to go is up through hard times through extraordinary moments there will always be the one who walks with us who carries us who is always with us no matter what though everything changes for God loved us first we are the feast of home bay area district welcome to our spiritual family full of imperfect messy people who journey together in finding and embracing god we welcome you to feast at home this is Bo sanchez Hi, this is Brother Audie Villaraza. This is Brother Dieter Lubato. This is Doc Ryan Capitolo. Brother Philip Sumera. Coach JC Libina. Brother John Ben Rodriguez. Brother Tony Valenzuela here. Brother Adrian Tony Ben. Brother Emer Encarnacion. I'm Alvin Barcelo. This is Brother Michael Aguard. Brother Bob McConaughey. You are loved. Thank you for joining us today. With life as difficult as it is, joy seems few and far between. These days, the resilience and grit required just to make it through makes it seem like there's no room for what seems to be such a futile thing. With all the stress, anxiety, difficulty, sickness, and death, where is joy to be found? Manood ng movie sa gabi bago matulog. Eh, hindi. Siyempre, ikaw. Concerts. Chicken Joy makes me happy. K-pop makes me happy. Music makes me happy. Dogs and babies make me happy. <laughs> Coffee. Cold Chaparado. What makes you happy? Okay. Listening to people's stories of how our God blessed them makes me happy. Spending spontaneous quality time with my family. Hindi may family kahit peace time lang. Driving around in the Lugang Tatat to watch the sunset. When people line up for confession. When I talk to my grandchildren who are always abroad. Knowing that I have a loving wife and son and knowing that they are safe and healthy. When we pray the rosary every night. To touch, save, and even change lives. Spending time with my wife and my son makes me happy. Technology, because I get to talk to my family despite the distance. The hope that today is better than yesterday and the best is yet to come. Family! You! What makes you happy? What puts a smile on your face and in your heart? Joy is such a wonderful thing. I mean, it lifts us up, it comforts those who are in pain, and it gives hope to those who do not have hope anymore. Let me tell you that where you find joy is as important as the joy itself. Think about it. Where does your joy come from? Does it come from your passions? Yes. Hobbies? Favorite food? Mmm. And, of course, your friends, family, God himself. And so here at the Feast Conference, we gather together in celebration of all these places and people where we find joy. The Feast Conference is jam-packed 
with talks and classes and worship and all the good stuff where joy can be found because God is the source of our joy. But let me tell you that there is a joy that maybe you are not aware of. God finds joy. Where? Get ready to be shocked. He finds joy in you. He loves you and you are his delight. God delights in you. With all your flaws and shortcomings, God still finds joy in you, with you. So when strength is lacking and your joy is nowhere to be found, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and look around with the eyes of recognition. Because though everything else makes you think otherwise, know this truth. There is still joy. Joy is in you. at home bay area sunday taglish session jesus calls us to take up our cross whatever it is and follow him because we're going to have suffering in our life and the message of jesus underneath all of that that he calls us to is this don't waste your pain so don't waste your pain no matter what your cross is it's Christ-like to pick it up and know that when you're doing that, you're doing something sacrificial, loving, and that will make a difference. God wants to restart our lives. Dear friends, maybe ang ginagawa natin for the past months, we've been trying to repair our lives with the things we have lost, the broken things, the lost dreams. Pero what if, what if, God wants to restart our lives. The kingdom demands an overhaul of our purpose because if we cannot live for ourselves, we should start living for others because this is what the kingdom is all about. This is what Jesus wanted for us. Kasi hindi natin kaya ito kung tayo lang. Ha? Gusto natin, basta tayo malusog, tayo safe, okay na. At kung talagang binago tayo ng Panginoong Jesus, in-overhaul tayo, makikita natin ang kahulugan ng pagkamatay niya sa krus. Ibinigay ang kanyang buhay. At dahil doon, malalaman natin na ganyan din ang pagbabagong gagawin at ginagawa ni Jesus sa ating buhay. At ang Diyos lang makakagawa niya. Only God can restart our life. Itong pandemya ito ay pamamahaan din upang mabago nga ang ating buhay. Magsimula tayong mabuhay, hindi lamang para sa sarili, hindi para sa ating kapwa. God wants to restart your life. Jesus, right now we declare that you are building your love in our lives by the seeds of the dreams in our hearts. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat. If we feel that we have lost something, we have lost someone, we have been hurt. We have been wrong. Jesus, right now we declare that you are restarting our lives. You are building us up back again. And there is nothing impossible to your love as we open up and call upon your name today, O oh God. The dreams that you have planted will come to life in your perfect time. And as we dream, O oh God, as we bring them to reality because of your love, hindi lang para sa sarili lang namin po ito, but it's for others around us, our family, our loved ones, our friends, all those that we encounter will experience your love in our lives, O oh God. Your dreams in our lives will come true. And again, we're excited to see you next Sunday here at the 1.30 p.m. Tagli Session. Dito, kung saan, merong magandang mangyayari sa'yo! God bless!
Magandang, magandang, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, Ayun. Brother Tony. And good afternoon sa lahat ng ating mga viewers ngayon sa yes. Facebook at sa YouTube. At mamaya-maya, no? Habang kumukonekta tayo sa Kumu. Ayan. Correct. How are you, Brother Correct. Tony? Ito, medyo naglalag yata ang aking uh, visual ulit no? <laughs> dahil sa panahon. Pero all is well, praying for the best, and wherever you are, mga kapatid and feast family, we hope and pray that you are safe and well po, no? And uh, we continue to share the blessings online. So, pwede nyo itag or gawin na uh, uh, watch party ang ating Feast at Home Taglish session ngayon. So, we welcome you to our 1.30pm session. Yan. And to all our dear viewers, If you are a first-timer, ayan, ilagay mo lang po sa ating comment section na I am a first-timer dahil mamaya po ay mayroong magandang mangyayari sa inyo dahil mayroon po tayong tinatawag na fellowship. So mamaya po ang atin pong mga online servers ay magpapadala po ng Zoom link sa ating comment section at pwede na po kayong mag-zoom in sa ating Zoom Ustahan mamaya. Yan! Okay. Alright, so syempre, no, uh, Brother Nico, we invite everyone again to our Zoom Ustahan mamaya. Pero ito, no, of course, we have our viewers online and uh, pwede nyong i-type in ngayon sa comment section where you are watching from right now. Saan man kayo sa mundo. Kasi, Brother Nico, no, hindi lang tayo sa Facebook pati sa YouTube at sa tsaka sa Kumu. Yan. <laughs> Hopefully we can uh, connect those with Kumu. Oh, di ba? All around tayo. Kumu. Ayan, good afternoon po sa ating mga manonood ngayong araw na ito. Ayan, at uh, kung gusto niyo pong batiin po namin kaya yan. Hello po, Ed Selmon Salve. Hello, sisters. Yan. Albay. Ayan. At ang buong Bicolandia ngayon ay nagdiriwang sapagkat ngayon ang kapistahan ng kanila o ng ating minamahal na ina, ang ating mahal na birhen ng Peña Francia. So, happy fiesta po sa buong Bicolandia. Ayan, hello Kuya. Hello, so watching from Laguna. Hello, Robby. At uh, ayan po ang mga nanonood natin ngayon. Sis Bev. How are you? Nanonood sa YouTube. Ayan, have a blessed Sunday. Oh, di ba? Uh, okay. Patuloy po natin iniindikahan ng lahat na mag-comment lang po sa ating comment section saan po kayo nanonood at mamaya ay babatiin po namin kayo. At syempre, meron po tayong question of the week mamaya na ibabahagi at kung gusto nyo pong sumali ay maaari nyo pong ilagay ang kasagutan sa ating comment section. At syempre, Yan. Brother Tony, bago po matapos ang ating uh, session mamayang hapon, ano pong meron tayo? Ayun, well, of course, no we want to uh, invite everyone sa ating question of the week, di ba, brother? So, uh, for those watching right now, yan, ito ang ating uh, katanungan for the week. Ano ang isang karanasan mo sa buhay na mas lalong nagpalakas ng iyong pananampalataya? Alright. Uh, ayan, sa ating mga viewers ngayon, makaari po kayo makiisa sa ating question of the week sa pagitan ng pag-comment ng inyong mga kasagutan at mamaya babasahin po namin yan. Ayan, Brother Yon. Tony. Ayan, ano ang iyong isang karanasan na sa tingin mo nagpapalakas ng iyong pananampalataya? Siguro ako Pila. muna ang mauna. <laughs> Yeah, no. Sef, ako ang ako ang tinanong eh, no. Oh, <laughs> balik ka, eh. balik Well, ah uh, tal. Well, actually bro, no, ang dami mga challenges ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya. Yeah, pero one of the beautiful things na nagpapasalamat din that's uh, giving me strength sa panahon ngayon at uh, nagbibigay ng lakas sa aking pananampalataya. First of all, is we get to be part of a community, di ba? And syempre, uh, with our family and loved ones na magkasama sa bahay, di ba? If uh, syempre ang hirap uh, na ikaw lang mag-isa. So we pray for those who are alam ko kasi may mga servants and uh, 
may mga tao sa panahon ngayon ay uh, nag-iisa sa bahay at uh, mahirap po yun, no? So, we pray for those who are just at home alone, that you are safe pa rin, that you stay connected kasi yan ang nagbibigay ng lakas sa ating pananampalataya is to keep connected online. So, ako din. That's why I love being connected online. Yun! Ako naman, ang nagpapalakas o ang isang karanasan mas lalong magpalakas sa aking pananampalataya. Siguro ito, itong nangyayari sa atin ngayon, no? sa gitna ng pandemya, na lahat ay online, lahat ng bagay ay ginagawa ng malayuan. No? At mm. uh, ito yung bagay na nagbibigay sa akin lalo ng pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Kumakapit ako sa Kanya na lahat ay uh, magiging maayos din no? sa takdang panahon. Mananalangin lang tayo at magiging tapat sa Kanya. Lahat ng ito ay ating malalampasan. Kaya naman, ayan, tiwala lang. Sabi nga nila, kafit lang. Kafit lang. At Yun. makakaraos din tayo. No? Oh, diba? At ayan, tignan natin ang mga pagbabahagi ng ating mga manonood ngayong araw na ito dito sa ating Question of the Week. Ayan, basahin po natin. Ako po ay, uh, ayan, mula kay Sis Bev. Ganda. Ganda palakas sa aking pananampalataya ngayon, my dear classmates and professors from Don Bosco School of Theology. Every class, parang retreat. Iyak, tawa, dasal. Love, love, hi. Ayan. God bless po, Sis Bev, at sa iyong uh, pagpapatuloy na pag-aaral. Ayan. Sis Agnes Torres, ang sabi niya ay bedridden na at lumalapit ako kay Lord. At ako ay pinagaling niya na nagpalakas sa pa- aking pananampalataya o oh, pananalig sa Thank you, Sis Agnes. Ang ganda ng mga sagot. Oh, ito pa, marami pa. Si Josephine Lim, when I was intubated, wow, and nasa ICU ako, I'm a dialysis patient. Thank God that I was given a second chance to live. Amen. It's a miracle. If God is in your life, surely He will not forsake you. What Amen. a strong testimony po yan. Victory story mo yan, Sis Josephine. Thank you for sharing. We're praying for all those tap, di ba, Brother Nico? We want yes. to invite everyone to just share with us your intentions. Mame will share more on that. But yes, we are praying with you at this very moment. Yun. Ang ganda ng ating katanungan ngayon. No? Marami tayong mga mga istorya, mga kwento ng pagpapatuloy at kalakasan dahil sa milagro ng pananampalataya. Ayan, Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga viewers ngayon na naglalagay ng kanilang kasagutan. At syempre, bilang pagpapatuloy po sa ating uh, mga paalala, magkalitimutan na ang ating uh, Feast Bay area kahit na tayo ay malayo sa isa't isa, patuloy pa rin ang ating mga weekly programs mula yes. hanggang linggo. Kaya po, huwag kalilimutang tumutok sa ating mga daily programs sa Light of Jesus Family at sa Feast Bay Area Facebook page. Ayan, nakikita niyo po sa inyong mga screen ang mga schedule na maaari niyo pong screenshot, picturean para lalo po kayong maging updated araw-araw. Yes, no, syempre, we want to journey with you throughout the week. So, syempre, lahat ng mga programs na ito may uh, kanya-kanyang uh, um, target na audience. So, join us and journey with us and invite others in your life. And uh, pwede din kapitbahay, kaibigan, kaklase, di ba? Uh, ka-office, ka-office mate. You know, invite them and journey with us online every day of the week. And syempre, hindi lang itong mga weekly programs meron tayo, Brother Nico. We also invite everyone to join us sa ating Feast Bay Area District Divine Mercy Chaplet. No? So from Monday to Saturday, uh, 3 p.m., alas 3 ng hapon, join us with our Divine Mercy Chaplet and you would have prayed in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, di ba? Your devotion would declare that Jesus I trust in you. Mas lalo ngayon sa aking connection, Lord, I trust in you. <laughs> Lord, you're in charge, Lord God. Tiwala ano ba? lang tayo. Tiwala lang talaga. Tiwala Kapit lang. lang. Oo. Kapit lang. At Oo. sa ating mga manonood ngayon, kapit lang po at lalong-lalo na sa may mga karamdaman, lalong-lalo na dahil sa COVID-19, kapit lang. Dahil alam natin, malalampasan natin yan and your peace family is here always for you. That's why we have the MOE or Ministry of the Year. Kapit yan! Kapit maramdaman lalong-lalo na sa COVID-19. Dahil 
ang Ministry of the Year ay handang makinig sa inyo. Kayo ay bigyang kahit papan ng kagaangan ng kalooban sa panahon ng mabigat na pagsubok. Yes. Kaya naman, yes. iskan lang po ang ating QR code na nakikita sa ating screen upang makita po natin ang schedule para sa ating Ministry of the Year. Para po ito sa mga taong kasalukuyang nakikibaka sa karamdaman ng COVID-19. Kaya Correct. naman po, nandito kami para sa inyo. Yon. So ulit, we want to reach out to you with our Ministry of the Year and we are heading this, no? Recently launched lang itong bagong ministry natin. But also, it has been uh, uh, led by our very own spiritual advisor ng Feast Bay Era, si Father Bob McConaughey, no? So please do take a screenshot ng poster na ito kasi the QR code that you see on your screen will guide you to the details of our servants that you can get in touch with. And they will also pray for you. Yan ang kagandaan dito din sa Ministry of the Year. And of course, no, we want to also invite others to join us sa ating uh, Feast uh, Light Movement. Yan. So, uh, alam nyo mga kapatid, maybe you're joining us, receiving God's Word. Yung feeding natin spiritually is happening every Sunday or every day of the week. Pero what if God could be calling you to put up a feast light to build one today and it doesn't have to be na napakagaling ka magsalita or magpreach no you can just simply invite your friends and loved ones to join you online sa ngayon di ba pwedeng sa Zoom pwedeng Google Meet pwede din sa alam ko Messenger din just watch our feast video together as a group as a family and you would be blessed pagkatapos nun pwede kayo mag sharing so online we have our feast light uh, talks na short versions din ng mga talks natin no every sunday you can make it available to you via youtube but how to put up your feast light today please get in touch with sis jackie cabales yung pa ang kanyang uh, cell phone number or contact number ay nasa screen ngayon and so you can also be a planter of god's word today yan Ayan, thank you very much. At kung kayo invited na dahil ilang tulog na lang, ilang buwan na lang, joyful, joyful na. Ayan! Ay siya darating na November 19 to 21. At para po makakuha ng tickets, wag pong kalilimutang pumunta sa website na www.thisconference.com At ang ticket po ay nagkakahalaga ng 995 pesos At dahil dyan, kung ako sa inyo, pupunta na ako sa website at bibili na ng ticket para sa Fiscon 2021 Joyful! Yon. And of course, no, Brother Nico, they can register today. Uh, regular tickets is at 995, no? Pero sa mga kabataan, for the youth, mga students, may student rate din tayo, which is 500 pesos. And for your premium rate, ito, 1,995. So what are you waiting for? Join us and register today. Napaka-joyful talaga, especially Burmats at malapit ng Pasko. Celebrate, di ba? Online with our joyful, joyful feast conference via WUVA. Yan ang ating app na ginagamit since last year's feast con, no? WUVA on November 19 to 21. Alright. And of course... Brother Nico, no, we also want to invite uh, everyone to share with us their personal prayer intentions. Diba? So during our session, we like to invite you to type in the comment section. Wag po tayo mahiya because we have intercessory minister, minister, uh, minister, no, ministry servants who are praying for us behind the scenes. Alam nyo po, every time that you share your intentions, they're jotting it down. Talagang uh, tinatake note nila and they are praying for you throughout the whole week hindi lang today no not only through the session but throughout the week so please do share with us your prayer intentions because we are praying for you and prayers are powerful yon yan amen and also habang pong hinahanda natin ang ating mga sarili sa banal na misa pagkatapos po nito ay uh, pansamantala po muna tayong nakinig at namin ang presensya ng Panginoon tunay na tamang-tama ang Ebanghelyo natin ngayon sa ikadalawamputlimang linggo ng ordinaryong panahon na 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time diba? If anyone yeah. wishes to be first be like that child no? yung naka lagay dyan sa ating uh, larawan, sa ating 
between ang pagpapakumbaba at ang um, yes. tanging pagpapahalaga na pinapakita ng mga bata. Hindi tayo inaanyayahan ng Panginoon na maging isip bata kung hindi maging kagaya nila. No? Mababa ang loob, hindi kailanman nagiging mapagmataas. So yan ang hamo ng ating Ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ito. At habang hinahanda po natin ang ating mga sarili, ay ating ilagay ang ating uh, kalooban sa Panginoon. Ano kaya ang mensahe niya sa magiging Ebanghelyo natin? At sa maririnig niyong humilya sa pangunguna ni Father Bob. Kaya naman, Brother Tony, muli ako po si Ginoong Kaungka. Magbabalik po kami mamaya sa aming pag uh, ibigay sa inyo ng iba pang mga detalye pagkatapos ng ating power talk. Brother Tony? Yes, no, thank you very much Brother Nico muli and uh, we're excited for our talk to today. So wag pa kayo mawala after our holy mass. Please do stay with us for a powerful uh, worship and amazing uh, talk for God's word today kasi we dive further into the Gospel of Matthew sa ating ongoing series The Clash, no? So Talk to tayo today and we discover more of how Jesus is wrapping up ang kanyang ministry sa pagpasok niya sa Jerusalem with our talk to today. So God bless you and see you after our Holy Mass. God bless you! My dear feasters, the past is history, the future is mystery, but in faith, let us begin again. There comes a time when we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one, there are people dying. Oh, it's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. We can go on, pretending day by day, that someone, somewhere to make a change.
Let us all pray the Oratio Imperata. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission we thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country we pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Luis. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsoy. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Jesus tells his disciples that as the Messiah, he will be delivered into the hands of men and be put to death. The way to glory is through humility and suffering. But the disciples fail to understand him because they are thinking of their own personal glory that they hope to receive when Jesus is acclaimed as the Messiah. Knowing what is in their hearts, the Lord places a little child in their midst. In God's kingdom, whoever humbles himself and serves the little ones, the poor, those with neither power nor voice, will be considered great. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Bob McConaughey. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sang from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. Singing Alleluia. We gather together as God's family, as the light of Jesus' family, as the feast family, with your family, as we begin our Sunday Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit good morning everyone and welcome a new venue just for this week this is literally a brand new renovated chapel here at lorenzo mission seminary it was literally just completed yesterday and as you can see it's a very very beautiful place to worship our lord so we welcome you to the seminary and uh we take a quiet moment now we come before our heavenly father and the father will give jesus mercy and forgiveness for our sins.
Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of your compassion. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the gentle, good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin. The world have mercy on us, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, receive our prayer. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, the Father, Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. To God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to retain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. 
The godly life of a just person becomes a reproach to the wicked. They seek to do away with him because he is a reminder of their wickedness. The just one foreshadows the Lord Jesus who will suffer, die, and rise for the salvation of mankind. The first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test. And may we have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death. For according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. O God, by your name, save me, and by your might, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. The Lord upholds my life. For the haughty have risen up against me, and ruthless seek my life. They set not God before their eyes. The Lord upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely I will offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. The Lord upholds my life. Jealousy and self-aggrandizement lead to conflicts and disputes. One who follows the Lord's teaching on humility lives a life of service and of peace. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy and or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia. 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 Says the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. 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 
My dear feasters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came down the mountain and began to go through Galilee. But he did not want anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples in this vein. The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men who will put him to death. And three days after, he will rise. Though they have failed to understand his words, they were afraid to question him. They returned to Capernaum, and Jesus, once inside the house, began to ask them, What were you discussing on your way home? At this they fell silent, for on the way home they have been arguing about who was the most important. And so he sat down and called the twelve around him and said, If anyone wishes to rank first, he must first rem he must remain the last of all and the servant of all. And then he took a little child, stood him in their midst, and putting his arm around him, said to them, Whoever welcomes a child such as this for my sake welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Generally speaking, people love titles. Your Honor, Senator Sam. Congressman Cheryl, Engineer Ed, Attorney Morgy, Doc Dan. Because every time that you have a title before your first name, other than Mr. or Mrs., it tells people that you've achieved a certain amount of success in your life. And so with those titles then, you can be a person of influence. And when you're a person of influence, maybe that would lead to your being a person of affluence. And then when you're both a man or a woman of respect, at the same time, you will also embrace that most important, wonderful thing called happiness. Everyone is searching for happiness, and it can be a little bit elusive, can it? Because supposing someone with a title says, I want to be a person of influence and affluence, and then I'll be happy, and when I'm happy, I can get what I really need, a nice BMW. And then I can show it to my friends, and that will be a symbol of my success. Only one problem. Someone who has more success and affluence than you will buy a Lamborghini. And they won't think very much of your BMW. And those who cannot afford a BMW, who have no title, who have no influence or affluence, will simply be jealous of you. With all of those accomplishments, you won't make one bit of difference. Jesus is getting that at that here in this gospel today. He's turning people's thinking upside down when he said welcome this child in my name that would have been culturally amazing because children at the time of jesus were really to be not seen and not heard they were considered to be on a social level until they grew up of a slave so you don't pay all that much attention to them and jesus is saying oh yes you do because of such is made the kingdom of heaven. So what he was saying to us very clearly here is that excess, influence, affluence, and happiness are no, not enough. Not in his kingdom. In his kingdom, you are called by name to be significant. And no matter how much you have or how little you have, you can always be significant. 
Let me give you an example of what I mean. I think the happiest person I have ever met in my life, far and away, the happiest, is a man named George Sippel. George was 82 years old when I met him. And he was a parishioner, and every day he would go to Mass. And when I first became parish priest, the parish priest said to me, you don't have to open up the church in the morning. George Sippel will do it. You go to the nursing homes. We have three of them once a month. George goes every week to all three of them. George will serve your Mass. And so I really looked forward to meeting George, and I did after Mass. He was the sacristan as well. And so he said, oh, welcome, Father. Welcome to the parish. Father, you have to come up to my house and meet my wife, Anna. But, Father, wait until you meet my son, Joey. Well, the way he talked about Joey and the way his eyes opened with pride, I thought Joey was the mayor. Or maybe had a doctorate. Or was a man of influence throughout the town. Then I met Joey. They had him sitting in a Barco Lounge chair. And he didn't say anything. And then George told me the story. He said, this is our Joey. Father, 55 years ago when he was born, he said they couldn't get his head out of the birth canal. And so they had to go in with forceps to bring the head out. But unfortunately, the doctor squeezed the forceps too hard. And there was major brain damage. They said to George and Anna, you could take Joey home with you. But he's going to need 24-hour care. You're not going to be able to take him anywhere. He's never going to be able to go to school. He will not be able to communicate with you in language. We suggest you simply have him institutionalize and let the state take care of him. George and Anna said, no way. We're going to take Joey home. And for the next 55 years, Joey experienced absolute, unconditional love from two parents who were absolutely joyous. Oh, George, George had a, uh, a title. He did. Bakery truck driver. And he took care of his family. He had another daughter. Her name was Anna. And Anna was out and was married already. And so it was just George and Anna and Joey. And every day, especially when he became an adult, it was the same routine. They would get Joey out of bed. They would toilet him. They would clean and wash him. And then they would dress him because he was unable to do any of those things without assistance. Had to pull his zipper up, button his all his shirt buttons, the little things, the little things, day after day, month after month, year after year. And then while George would go off and serve Mass, Anna would begin cooking his breakfast, all of which had to be pureed, no solid food because he could choke. And so then that day, I met Joey. And I watched as George went about the task of attempting to feed him. And I watched. And he would talk the whole time to Joey. Ah, okay, Joey, here we go. You all set to eat? Okay. And he would take the pureed food, and he would give him his first mouthful. There you go. Oh, you're such a good guy, Father. Really a good guy. And he would feed him. And every once in a while, Joey would spit it out. Oh, that's okay, Joey. And he would wipe the food away. But the thing that really, if you went to visit there, that would really terribly affect you, is that the only way that Joey would communicate was to make a noise. And the noise was like this. Ah, ah, ah. Imagine hearing that all day long, month by month, 
year by year, and they never failed to love. They never hit them. Imagine the frustration that would cause. Imagine someone would say, God gave us a bad deal here. We can never get away. We can never have fun. We can never go on vacation. All because of him. But you know what? They never thought about it that way. And on the way out the door, you know what George said to me? He said, Father, we're so lucky to have Joey. He never does anything to hurt us. We never, ever have a problem with him. That's unconditional love. And you know what? That George was also a Eucharistic minister who would take communion, as I said, to the three nursing homes. And when he would get there to the church, he would go up three flights of steps. The church was up kind of like on an embankment. And I remember seeing him many times out of my window going up those steps. And the look of absolute expectation and anticipation was on his face. Pure joy. And he would go in and he would get the Eucharist, get in his car and drive to the nursing homes. And he said to me one morning, Father, when I go to those nursing homes, and most of the people there are as old as he is, he said, Father, when I take out that host and I hold it up, their faces light up. I was saying yes because of the Eucharist and because of the absolute joy that he would bring to those residents. Oh well, after I was there a couple of years, his daughter Anna got sick. And one morning before Mass, he said, Father, would you keep Anna, my daughter, in your prayers? I said, yes, what's wrong? She has brain cancer. She died two months later. He was in the front row with his wife, Anna, at the funeral. Tears came down his cheeks. He didn't make a big show of it, but he was crying. And so was Anna. But after the funeral and the burial, the next day, he was there. 6 a.m., opening up the doors of the church and preparing for Mass and serving Mass. He mourned. But he never lost that interior significance, that joy. No one could take that from him. And then his wife, during my stay there as parish priest, had a massive stroke. And he was in the intensive care unit at her bed. I was there to give her the last rites. And he spoke so beautifully to her. And it wasn't embarrassing for him because he would speak to his wife all the time like this. He would say something nice to her every day. And he would say, Anna, all these years, didn't we take such good care of Joey, you and me? And didn't we have an enjoyable life together? I love you so much, Anna. And then he gave her a kiss. And then she died. And then not long after that, Joey died. And then I remember it was January, and I got called up to George's house. The next door neighbor said, there's something wrong. We ring the bell. We knock on the door. We're looking in. I think he's hurt himself. You better come up right away. So up we went and opened the door and went in. And what I saw there, I will never forget as long as I live. He had a heart attack, obviously. And usually when people have a heart attack and they fall, they don't fall in position. They're usually maybe scrunched up like this. Not George. George was laying on the floor in his living room, face down. Now that might not seem unusual, but not only was his face down, but his arms were spread. He looked like he was in cruciform. And yet, at that moment, that he went down on the floor, he laid down the cross that he had picked up just like Jesus with great love. And that's how he became significant. Everybody in the parish knew George. And how humble he was. And humility means availability and 
And he was always available. Never raised his voice. People were attracted to him, wanted to talk to him, wanted to be with him. And then our diocesan newspaper heard about him. And they came up and interviewed him. Two full page spread speaking about George's life. So what I learned from that is something I think kind of important. You can imagine when he died, I am sure the Heavenly Father in Jesus, he saw Anna again, he saw his daughter again, but imagine he saw Joey again, where every tear was wiped away. And for the first time, Joey could clearly communicate, because his brain damage is gone, could clearly communicate to George his thanksgiving and gratitude for never failing to love. Significance means humbly making a difference in someone else's life, and the result, the gift that you get back, is something you cannot buy. Not only the gift of happiness, he was the happiest man I've ever met in my life, but the gift of joy, which flows from significance and touches the lives of other people. Our Lord was promising that here. He said, the one who would be first among you would be the last, the last in the eyes of the world. But first, in what is most significant to Jesus and to his heavenly Father. You want to be first? You want to be number one? You want people to admire you? You want people to be attracted to you and close to you? Be first in kindness. Be first in compassion. Be first, without counting the cost, in generosity. At last, in concern for yourself. Because as I said to you several weeks ago, God can work tremendous miracles through the one who doesn't care, who gets the credit. George never cared who got the credit. Let us learn from what Jesus said. Because he was saying the most significant title with which you will have the most influence but maybe not affluence the most significant name by which you can be called when someone speaks about you is to say ah he she is a servant and a servant with a joy that no one can take from them that's who you and I are called to be. And the Lord will give us the grace to be significant. Let us together profess what we believe. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, with childlike trust, we humbly become before the Father with our needs and with our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, make us humble of heart. Lord, make us humble of heart. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women forsake the trappings of titles and remain humble servants. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we honor all people, especially those who help us in our daily needs, rather than the gods of money, sports, fame, and politics, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we not prejudge anyone on account of color, race, gender, appearance, or disability, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we maintain our humility before the Lord as we face this pandemic through our faithful observance of health protocols to stem the tide of COVID-19 transmission, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. Lord, may we seek you in humility and admit that we need you in our lives. We pray for healing of the sick, provision to those who are in need, peace and comfort who are distressed and worried. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May all our brothers and sisters who passed away from this life be admitted to God's kingdom, where peace and joy are surely found. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. For the prayer intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of September, that we all will make courageous choices for a simple and environmentally sustainable lifestyle, rejoicing in our young people who are resolutely committed to this. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. And let us pray for the happy repose of the soul of Arturo, who is the father of our builder, Doc Bryant, that the Lord might welcome him home to heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us humble of heart. And let us pray for all of those who were diagnosed with COVID this week from our feast family, and also especially for Cardinal Avintala, who is also positive for COVID, that all of them might get well. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us humble of heart. Heavenly Father, through Jesus, we place all of these prayers at your feet, trusting that you will answer them. And we ask all of this through Jesus. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands of many. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual truth. Blessed be God forever. My sisters, my brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that they may profess with devotion and faith, and may their and may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. And by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your real presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that sharing in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now with humble, childlike faith, let us sing to Abba, our Heavenly Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. To share with one another Jesus' peace.
Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now prepare ourselves to receive Jesus Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let's have a moment of silence and feel the presence of our Lord.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I would like to express our gratitude to Mai and Dr. Didoy, who are commentator and lector at our Mass every Sunday. To Zach Pei, who sang so beautifully, especially that communion hymn to the production team who are not here at the chapel that are remote but communicate with my seminarian technical man brother charles a seminarian so I, i'm delighted that all of them are the lord's instruments in a very very humble and quiet way and yet make a difference in our lives and with that in mind may the blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit descend upon you and your families to remain with you and care for you both now and forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We stay in peace. Thanks be to God. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched heart, I will bless your name. Thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, A blessed Sunday to all of us, dear friends, and welcome to our 1.30 p.m. Taglish session and to our feast family. Dear friends, as we come into our opening worship and to our talk series today, I invite you to our giving to open up your hearts in generosity as God invites us to give not out of our surplus, but out of our need. And even as we worship Him with song and words and dance and singing, Know that your giving is also your act of worship. And know that when you give, God will seek to fulfill and complete what you give away. And He alone can make whole what is broken, what is lost. As we also reach out to those who are in need, those who are the last, the least, and the lost at this time. And as we watch this upcoming video, dear friends, Please do take a screenshot of the details at the end for your reference where you can also give your giving. Again, in advance, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong generosity to reaching out and responding to God's call to give. God bless you and see you after our opening worship.
7, we thank you. We know that we can never outdo you in your generosity. Ikaw ang una nagbigay, ikaw ang una nagsakripisyo. At ngayon, tumutugon din kami sa sakripisyo na magbigay ng aming uh, parte ng aming kinita, parte ng aming biyaya. Binabalik namin sa iyo, ang galing sa iyo. At alam namin, ito'y babalik sa amin ng siksik, liglig at umaapaw sa maraming paraan. Kagalakan, kagalingan, at uh, ang, ang ligaya na kami ay nakatulong sa iba. So we give with smiles on our faces and joy in our hearts. We give to the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Great afternoon, Feast family. With all the challenges we experience today, now is the time to pause and let God lead us. For in Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 says, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will perform wonders among you. Come and sing with us. Have you ever seen the wonder In the glimmer of first sight As the eyes begin to open and the blindness meets the light If have so, say I see the world in light I see the world in wonder I see the world in life Bursting in living color I see the world your way And I'm walking in the light Have you ever seen the one? In the air of second life Having come out of waters With the old one left behind If you have so say I see the world in light I see the world in wonder I see the world in life First thing you live in color, I see the world your way, and I'm walking in the light. I see the world in grace, I see the world in gospel, I see the world your way, and I'm walking in the light. I'm walking in the world. to wonder If you have so say I see the world in love I see the world in freedom I see the Jesus way You're the wonder in the wild You're the wonder in the wild See the world your way, and I'm not afraid to follow. I see the world your way, and I'm not ashamed to say so. I see the Jesus way, and I'm walking in the light. I see the world in light, I see the world in wonder, I see the world in life. Bursting in living color, I see the world your way, and I'm walking in the light. Oh, I say, I see the world in grace, I see the world in gospel, I see the world your way, and I'm walking in the light. I'm walking in the world.
Magandang 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 araw po sa ating lahat. Let's continue to give praise to our God wherever you are, kung saan man po tayo. We hope and pray that you are safe, you are well. At uh, dito ngayon sa Metro at sa Pilipinas, sa uh, maulan na uh, hapon sa ating lahat. And wherever you are around the world, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And for those that are watching live ngayon, thank you so much. So, medyo naglalagang aking connection, no? Pero please bear with us uh, dahil sa <laughs> weather siguro, maybe may, may mga lapses, no? May mga challenges talaga sa panong ngayon. But know that God's Word still reaches out to you. I hope and pray that our, our audio is still strong with you and we continue to be connected, no? Kahit ano man mangyari na mga challenges, mga lapses, or lagging connections natin at this time, hey, God is here for you. God is listening to you. God is connected with you. God is embracing you. And God is blessing you. If you believe in that, i-type nyo ngayon sa comment section, I am blessed. I am blessed. Yes, the fact that you are breathing, you're living, nagising ka kaninang umaga, you got up today, you're living and breathing. You're a blessing. You're a constituent. You're an instrument. You're a conduit of God's love wherever you are. And kahit sa online, you can still be a blessing. How? Pwede nyo itag yung mga kasama nyo, mga kaibigan nyo. Tag your friends and loved ones and your family and those you know that will be blessed with our message today. Yes, pwede din mag-watch party. <laughs> Di ba? Uso din ngayon dahil online, watch party. Yan. Dear friends, this is Brother Tony Valenzuela of our 1.30pm Taglish Session Feast family. And I welcome all of you. For journeying with us, joining us, and being a blessing to us, kahit online. And dear friends, today we continue our ongoing series. Ang pamagat ng ating ongoing series is The Clash. Yan, The Clash. Bakit The Clash, Brother Tony? Because we will discover and unravel more of the Gospel of Matthew. At makita natin, no? How there is two sides to Jesus, pero it's both the same Jesus. Pero minsan, pag na observe natin parang Lord mabait ka sa panahon na to pero pagkaharap mo tong mga ibang tao na to kagaya ng mga Pharisees ang bangis mo Lord no talagang you're very uh, ha- harsh ang mga salita niyo po but there is a reason to all of this dear friends it's not to say that Jesus is double sided no he is complete he is our god he is whole and everything he does is out of love And today we discover how with our series, The Clash, our dive to the Gospel of Matthew, we'll discover more of the culture, kingdom, and comfort of God's love. And our talk to today, ito dear friends, we are with our talk to, and our title of talk to is Righteous versus Repentance. Yan. And with our scripture, key scripture verses, we will discover how Jesus is both righteousness and calling us to His repentance to repent so that we can welcome him more today and dear friends as we begin let's fr- pray our favorite prayer here at the feast so with all conviction with open hearts and with our souls bearing our all to god we make the sign of his love for us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit together we pray today i receive all of god's love for me Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, and I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Dear friends, have you experienced na mas lalo sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic, no? Through this crisis, have you experienced feeling unworthy, undeserved? Dahil feeling natin napaka-distant ang Diyos. Saan na ba ang Diyos? Natutulog ba ang Diyos? But here's our one big message for you today. We want to bring you God's comfort by saying and sharing that God's mercy is bigger than all your mistakes. Ulitin ko po, no? God's mercy is bigger than all of your mistakes. Dear friends, kung feeling nyo, feeling natin that our sins, our past, our hurts, our wrongs, 
our failures are as heavy kasing bigat kasing laki ng ng isang barko kagaya ng Titanic no let's imagine that our sins our faults our failures are as big as the Titanic that sunk into the sea hey reminder lang natin sa atin lahat today God is reminding that even if our sins our failures are as big and heavy as the Titanic his love is as big and infinite as the ocean amen amen if you believe in that type in the comment section amen and dear friends if you're ready i'm ready to bring us god's word and his message today let us welcome brother alvin barcelona isang magandang araw sa ating lahat atin ngayon ipagpapatuloy ang ating talk series na the clash at ang pamagat ng ating talk ngayon ay Righteousness versus Repentance. Patuloy ang ating pag-aaral sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo. At simple, subalit makapagbigay pag-asa at kalakasan ng loob ang ating message ngayon. God's mercy is bigger than all your mistakes. Sigurado kasi may mga kilala tayong tao na iniisip nila dahil marami ang kanilang mga sablay sa buhay, hindi na sila mabibless ni Lord. Pero ang totoo niyan, sino ba sa atin ang hindi sumablay? Sino ba sa atin ang hindi nagkasala? Marahil ang iba sa atin ay bumigay sa isang addiction, sa alak, sa sugal, sa drugs, o baka ay lumaki tayong pasaway sa ating mga magulang, o kaya ay, uh, failed ang ating marriage, o kaya ay, uh, failure din tayo bilang mga magulang sa ating mga anak. O kaya sumablay ang ating desisyon sa financial life natin kaya nagkalubog-lubog tayo sa utang. Well, this talk should give you hope dahil sinasabi ng talk na ito, your future is brighter than your past. Bakit natin alam ito? Uulitin ko, dahil ang ating mga pagkakasala, pagkakamali, ay hindi pwedeng mas malaki kaysa sa biyaya at awa ng Diyos. Your mistakes can never be bigger than God's mercy. Isipin niyo na lang yung mga tao sa Biblia. <laughs> yung mga big time na mga kilala ninyo. Halimbawa si Moses. Eh, eh, di ba nakapatay siya? Pero sa kabila noon, ginamit pa rin siya ng, ng Diyos upang mapalaya ang bayang Israel. Si Jacob, di ba swindler yun? <laughs> Manluloko. Pero ipinangalan sa kanya ang isang dakilang nasyon. Si Haring David, hindi ba adulterer at murderer yun? Ha? Pero siya ang naging pinakadakilang hari sa kasaysayan ng Israel. Si Propeta Elijah, na-depress na, na eh at na, naduwag sa pakikihap niya kay Queen Jezebel. Pero nung napakita ang Jesus, ang Panginoong Jesus sa Transfiguration, abay si Moses at si Elijah ang, ang kanyang katabi. At kahit sa kanyang mga alagad, hindi ba si Pedro ay uh, itinatwa siya na, ng tatlong beses pa nga sa oras na kailangan-kailangan marahil ni Jesus ng kaibigang maninindigan sa kanya. Uh, pero sa kabila noon ay uh, itinalaga pa rin ni Jesus na maging pinuno ng kanyang simbahan na itinatag si, si Pedro. At kahit si San Pablo, hindi ba murderer yon ng mga unang Kristiyano? Pero naging isa sa pinakadakilang alagad sa, sa, sa ating uh, pan, pananampalataya at sa Biblia. Kaya kung titignan nyo, the biggest stars in the Bible were the biggest sinners. Ito ay nagbibigay pag-asa sa atin. Dahil sa totoo lang, sasabihin ko sa inyo, God expects us to make mistakes too. <laughs> Hindi na nasusurpress ang Diyos sa ating mga sablay at pagkakamali. Eh, kayo, kung kayo magulang, ina-expect niyo ba na yun yung mga anak lalaki ng perpekto at walang sablay? <laughs> nung sila'y bata, o nung naging estudyante, o nung naging teenager, o nung naging adult, sigurado may mga sablay sila. Alam natin yun dahil tayo mismo ay mga sumablay. Pero ganun pa man, may puwang palagi ang ating mga puso upang salipatawarin dahil sa ating pagmamahal sa kanila. Eh ganyan, higit ang Diyos sa atin. Alam niya na magkaka, uh, magkakamali tayo, subalit He has room for our mistakes. A huge room that is called mercy. In fact, the Bible says, all things work for the good to those who love Him. Kaya maniwala kahit sa hindi, kahit nga yung ating mga pagkakamalit sa blay, nagagamit pa ng Diyos upang mabless ka at mabless ang iba. Of course, hindi ibig sabihin na magkasala na tayo at lisensya na yun upang patuloy na mamuhay sa kasalanan. Pero license yun na magkaroon ng tuloy-tuloy na hope o pag-asa. Ako lang, kung sasabihin ko sa inyo mga naging kasalanan ko, napang hindi na kayo makikinig sa akin. 
mula sa buhay pamilya, sa buhay asawa, sa uh, bilang magulang, bilang preacher at leader. At uh, kahit sa aking financial life, marami ako mga pagkakamali, big time ang mga sablay. Subalit, uh, sa awa ng Diyos, um, maayos pa rin naman ang aking buhay. Sabi nga nila, swerte talaga yan si Alvin. Wala pong kinalaman ng swerte dito. Ito ay muli dahil sa dakilang awa ng Diyos. Dahil naniniwala tayo, nothing can ever stop God from loving us. Walang sino mang makapaghihwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Because God's mercy is bigger than all our mistakes. Bago ko basahin yung ating uh, pagbasa sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo, uh, review tayo ng kaunti dahil yung huli nating uh, uh, pinag-usapan, kasama yung si Jesus ay nagalit, hindi ba, doon sa templo. Uh, at uh, sinabi natin yung kanyang galit ay uh, bahagi ng prophetic theater. Ibig sabihin, pamamaraan yun ng mga propeta. Pero pangalawa, talagang uh, uh, nagalit siya sa katiwalian at korupsyon na nagaganap doon dahil mga religious leaders yung mga may-ari ng mga binibenta doon eh, na pinapatungan ng sobrang malaki. No? Kaya lalong nagalit yung mga religious leaders at lalo siyang kinumpronta. Kaya the crash. <laughs> Awitan natin ang salita ng Diyos. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Ang pagbasa muli natin ay mula sa Ebanghelyo ni San Mateo, chapter 21. When Jesus returned to the temple and began teaching, the leading priests and elders came up to him. They demanded, by what authority are you doing all these things? Who gave you the right? Ayan na, winestyo na siya ng mga pinuno, ng mga religious leaders. No? Sa, a, a, anong otoridad mayroon ka para gawin yan? <laughs> Pero ang totoo niyan, yung mga tanong nila, hindi naman tanong na makakita ng sagot. Eh. Tanong yun para manilo, hindi ba? Para hulihin si Jesus sa anumang masasabi niya. Uh, kaya ito ang, 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 ang sagot ng Panginoong Jesus. Ah, pero uh, alam nyo, pag ang Panginoong Yesus ay sumagot, dapat mag-iisip ka rin. <laughs> Tulad ng pinag-iisip tayo ng mga tanong ng mga pariseyo, ng mga religious leaders, dapat lalo tayong makinig at isipin pagnilayan ang mga tanong ni Yesus sa atin o ang kanyang mga mensahe sa atin. Because God wants to speak to us every day. God wants to speak to you today. But you must have the humility to listen. Ay, hindi lang nagtatanong para mapakita mong alam mo na at sinisilo mo lang yung tinatanong mo. Kaya tignan nyo, ang sagot ni Jesus, tanong rin. <laughs> at yan ay common sa mga diskusyon ukol sa relihiyon ng panahon niya. Ang sagot niya, ito, I'll tell you by what authority I do these things if you answer one question. Jesus replied, did John's authority to baptize come, come from heaven or was it merely human? <laughs> Siluan din lang, eh di, ang tinanong sa kanila, inaipit din sila. Tinanong kung, saan, uh, kung naniniwala ba silang ang kapangyarihan ni Juan Bautista ay galing sa langit. Abay, nagdiskusyon ngayon sila ng mga tinanong. They talk it over among themselves. If we say it was from heaven, he will ask us why we didn't believe John. But if we say it was merely human, we'll be mobbed because the people believe John was a prophet. So they finally replied, we don't know. <laughs> And Jesus responded, Then I won't tell you by what authority I do these things. <laughs> Parang tip din sa atin yan, di ba? Kasi sa social media, minsan may mga ganyang tanong din sa, sa atin, o sa akin, pag, uh, mga preachers. Minsan yung tanong, para lang kami siluin eh. Pag ganun eh, siguro, huwag mo nalang pansinin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> At ang kausapin mo nalang yung handang makinig. <laughs> Pero sinundan nito ng Panginoon ng kwento. Uh, para lalong maging mas malinaw marahil, Ang, ang kanyang sinasabi, dinadaan niya sa mga kwento. So verses 28 to 31, sabi niya, But what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son answered, No, I won't go. But later he changed his mind and went out anyway. Then the father told the other son, You go. And he said, Yes, I will. But he didn't go. Which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, The first. <laughs> Kung iisipin yun, no? Ito, a tale of two bad boys. Eh. <laughs> Kasi yung isa, sumagot na, hindi. Hindi ba? Yung isa naman, sumagot na, oo. Hindi naman sinunod. Eh? 
Kaya hindi ito story ng sino ang mabuti, sino ang masama. The difference kasi yung isang yung unang anak appears to be bad while the second son appears to be good. Pero ito ang ang, ang punto ni Jesus dito. Do not be fooled by appearances. You've got to go deeper. Kaya pag patuloy nating basahin sa 31:32, ito ang sinabi niya. Then Jesus explained his meaning. I tell you the truth. Corrupt tax, tax collectors and prostitutes will get into the kingdom of God before you do. For John the Baptist came and showed you the right way to live, but you didn't believe him, while tax collectors and prostitutes did. And even when you saw this happening, you refused to believe him and repent of your sins. So parang nilinaw niya dun sa kwento niya tungkol sa dalawang anak na marahil, no? Mabuti pa yung, yung isang sumagot na hindi, uh, pero sumunod, no? Parang ginastapose <laughs> sa English ng, ng Panginoong Yesus itong dalawang uri ng tao na ang una ay mga re, mga religyoso, ay yung mga pariseyo, yung mga nakakaalam ng ng, ng, ng ng batas, no? Ng pananampalataya, mga theologians at Bible teachers na na, na payos, no? Madasalin on the outside. Pero sa totoo sa loob, mga makasarili, arrogante at corrupt. Samantalang yung second group ay mga tax collectors at mga prostitutes, no? Mga 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 public sinners ito sa Israel eh. Galit sila sa mga tao ito dahil mga makasalanan at mga hindi nagsisimba sa templo, mga hindi sumusunod sa mga ritual at hindi nga sila pwedeng pumasok ng sinagoga. Eh. Pero ang sinabi ng Panginoong Hesus, mas mauuna pa. <laughs> Itong mga makasalanan ito ha, sa, sa kanyang kaharian Because these sinners were the core group of his new upside down kingdom Na nung pinag-usapan natin uh, nung unang talk At yan ay napaka-shocking statement ha? Kaya nga hindi lang sinabi ng Panginoong Isus yan Talagang yun ang kanyang pinakita sa kanyang buhay uh, He was hanging out with tax collectors tulad ni Mateo mismo at ni Zacchaeo at, at, at kahit yung kanyang mga kababaihang kasama sa kanyang ministry ay, ay mga madidilim din ang naging nakalipas ang mga hinusgahan din ng mga tao pero kanyang uh, nakasama sa, sa paglilingkod uh, sa ministry at tingnan nyo na lang ha, may, may apat na babae na nabanggit sa Biblia yung una, the perfectly bad woman <laughs> bakit perfectly bad woman? kasi si Maria Magdalena yun eh sabi sa Luke 8.2 He had seven demons, pitong demonyo Eh ang seven sa Bible, symbol ng perfection So she was perfectly bad Pero siya ay naging kaibigan ni Jesus At siya ay naging isang haligi pa nga ng, ng early church Kaya ngayon, no, sinasabi yan sa atin na Kung iniisip mo ay maaring inalihan ka din ng pitong demonyo No? At uh, na-trap ka na sa mga, sa mga addictions at kasalanan Abay, may pag-asa ka May pag-asa ka Kaya si Jesus na nakapagpalayas ng mga demonyo At kasamaan at kasalanan kay Magdalena Ay parehong Jesus na makakapagpalayas ng mga demonyo sa buhay mo At bigyan ka ng kalayaan At mag- maging haligi pa nga ng pananampalataya ng ibang tao Yung pangalawang babae na kwento na, na nakasalamuha din ng Panginoong Yesus ay yung limang beses na, 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 na divorce <laughs> five times divorce si yung Samaritan woman na, na limang beses nang sumablay sa kanyang relationship at yung kasama niya nung sila'y nag-usap sa John 4 ay sixth partner na niya ika-anim na niyang uh, kinakasama so uh, isipin mo ano ba ang mas masahod pitong demonyo o anim na asawa <laughs> pero Marahil muli, binibigyan tayo ng pag-asa nito. Baka tayo din ay nag-fail pa ulit-ulit sa ating mga relasyon. Maaring tayo ay niloko o tayo ang nanloko sa ating partner. Maumarahil galing tayo sa isang broken family. Ang ating mga magulang ang, ang naghiwalay o sumablay. Kaya iniisip natin, tapos na ang chance ko sa isang masaya at uh, mapayapang buhay. Hindi totoo yun. Don't give up on yourself. Kasi itong babaeng ito, akala niya wala nang pag-asa ang kanyang buhay. Pero nagamit pa siya ni Jesus upang ikalat ang mabuting balita na nakita niya ang misaya, ang misiyas. Kaya ikaw, kapatid, kaano man nag-fail ang iyong mga relationships, may pag-asa ka sa Diyos. 
Katunayan, yung ikatlong babae, nahuli sa akto. <laughs> the adulteress that was caught in the act. Kasi noon, wala naman mga hidden camera o mga CCTV. Kailangan na may, may full proof evidence na mahuli ka sa akto. Lalo na kung adultery. Aba, itong babaeng ito, nahuli sa akto. Di ba kung babae ka, kahiyahiya yun para sa'yo. Tapos, kinaladkad pa siya sa maraming mga tao pang papahiya at babatuhin hanggang mamatay ayon sa kanilang uh, 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 batas. no Pero anong ginawa ng Panginoong Jesus? Alam niyo yung kwento. Anong tinanong siya? Ah, nahuli namin ito. Dapat ito batuhin. Pero anong sagot ni Jesus? Di kung sino sa inyo ang walang kasalanan, di ba? siya ang unang pumukul ng bato. Ah, kaya kapatid, kung ikaw, No, feeling mo napahiya ka din sa publiko tulad nitong babaeng ito. Baka Facebook ka o tinulfo ka pa. <laughs> o o minidya ka pa, no? Eh at pinagpiyestahan ka na ng 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 ng, ba, ng taong bayan. Ay pag-asa ka pa rin kapatid. Ay inuulit ko mas malaki ang awa at habag ng Diyos sa iyong buhay. Kaya ma- marinig mo si Jesus, I do not condemn you. Ha, tulad ng ginawa niya dito sa babaeng ito. I have a plan to bless your life and I want you to receive that declaration na, na kayang, at sinasabi ng Panginoong Yesus sa iyo I do not condemn you you can have and you will have a beautiful life at yung ikaapat na babae di ba? town prostitute ibig sabihin kilala siya na barang babae sa, sa, sa lugar nila sa, sa bayan nila katunayan nung, nung may a party uh, na dinaluhan si Jesus. Gate crash itong babaeng to. Mababasa mo sa Luke 7:36. Pero nung nag-gate crash ang babaeng ito, hindi upang manggulo o mangakit ng mga customer. Siya ay namikluhod sa paanan ni Jesus at umiyak ng umiyak at hinugasan ang paanan ni Jesus sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga luha. Kaya kita mo kaagad na nais niyang makalaya, nais niyang magbago. At pero sabi, ano mang sabi mga tao? Naku, ito si Jesus, akala ba namin banal ito, propeta ito? Hindi ba niya alam, marumi ang babae niyan, makasalanan niyan. Pero hindi pinansin ni Jesus, ang panguhusga ng mga tao sa babaeng ito. Uh, lahat ng mga tao sa paligid, ang tinitignan ay ang buhay ng babaeng ito, ang kanyang madilim na nakalipas o ang madilim na ngayon. Pero ang nakikita sa kanya ni Jesus ay ang kanyang maliwanag na kinabukasan na mayroon siyang pag-asa sa kanyang buhay. Kaya ito ang mensahe dyan. Never define yourself by your mistakes. Never define yourself by your dark past. Define yourself by God's mercy. May pag-asa ka sa awa at biyaya ng Diyos. Katunayan, God does not call the righteous. He calls the repentant. Sabi ko sa inyo, yun yung mga in sinasabi na lang, alam na nila ang katotohanan, alam na namin yan. Yan nga yung dinakinig kay Jesus eh. Na banal kami, nagsisimba kami, o sumusunod kami sa aral. Yan nga ang mga nagpapako sa krus kay Jesus eh. Pero mga makasalanan na, 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 na bukas sa gagawin sa kanila ni Jesus, sila ang mga tunay na naging bahagi ng kakayaan ng Diyos. No? Kaya tandaan mo, God does not give up on you. Don't give up on yourself. Kaya sabihin mo sa sarili mo palagi, pag ikaw ay sumablay o sa iyong mga nakalipas, God's mercy is bigger than my mistake. In fact, ibabahagi ko sa inyo itong deklarasyon na ito upang basahin ninyo, paniwalaan ninyo, pangkapitan ninyo. Sabay-sabay nating dasalin ha? at iproklama. I may have messed up, but this is temporary. I may have made mistakes in the past, but my future is brighter than my past. Because of God's mercy, the best is yet to come. Each day is a new beginning for me. Each day, I shall live a new life. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining and journeying with us. And thank you, Brother Alvin, for a powerful message because God's mercy is bigger and greater than your mistakes, than all of your mistakes. Alam nyo, dear friends, may narinig akong uh, preaching ng isang pare at uh, ilang beses ko din nababasa na sinabi, sinasabi nila that every saint 
has a past. Talagang may past life ang mga santo. Pero every sinner has a bright future. Dear friends, if you feel sobrang bigat ang mga mistakes, mga problema, mga struggles, yung past life, addictions, nothing is impossible to God. Do you, do you believe in that? If you believe in that, type nyo ngayon sa comment section, God's love is greater. God's love is greater. Eto, alam ko din that I've experienced, no? May invite akong mga friends, mga kaibigan, mga uh, family members, mga kamag-anak din, no? To attend, to go to Mass, to attend the feast, no? Baka na-experience nyo din that when uh, pag-invite nyo sa kanila, ang sagot nila is, ay, wag muna ngayon. Uh, kailangan kong ayusin ang sarili ko. Parang pagpunta ko dun, baka mamaya masusunog lang ako. O, diba? Usually, ganun ang mga sagot. But the reality is, is that talagang masusunog tayo. <laughs> Why? Because the more closer we get to God, the more His love burns away our sins. So all the more, we must seek God first. All the more, you must seek Him out. Kahit mahirap, kahit masakit sometimes, even when we have to put down our pride. And there are many times that truly, this cleansing love will make us whole. Amen? Eh, pero ito, since today is a blessing, kaninang umaga, pag gising nyo at nakaharap kayo sa salamin, ano bang sinasabi nyo sa sarili nyo? What do you say to yourself in your mind, in your heart? Ano bang conversation nyo with yourself? Do you say good things? Are you positive? Do you, are you hopeful? Do you pray to yourself? Do you say that I am God's beloved? I am God's powerful champion? Even if your day is not going well? O kaya, when you look yourself at the mirror, lungkot kaya. Lungkot kaagad ang naramdaman mo. Because you feel, I don't deserve this. I am unworthy. I will not make it. Yeah, lahat ng mga negative thoughts po pasok. Do you say that to yourself? Kasi dear friends today, as much as God's mercy wants to flow through you and in you, it will have to start from your decision of how you talk to yourself. How do you talk to yourself, dear friends? Paano naman yung internal conversation mo sa sarili mo ngayon? How do you speak to yourself? How do you bless yourself? How do you call upon God's presence in your life? Yan ang unang tanong ko sa inyo, mga kapatid. How do you talk to yourself? Especially sa mga panahon na nagkakamali ka. We're human. We fall short. We have weaknesses. We have limitations. Pero aminin ko din, mga kapatid, when I experience these moments of going into mistakes or making mistakes na di ko na foresee or di ko na expect dahil tao lang, di ba? Or you feel that dapat di ko yan ginawa. Sayang. Bakit ko ginawa yon? Or may nangyari in your business, in your relationships, in your family because of this pandemic. Do you start to put the blame on yourself? Do you also ask the question, what is wrong with me? Ano bang mali ko sa sarili ko? And I admit, admit, mga kapatid, dahil ako ay isang uh, ok-ok na tao, no? obsessive-compulsive, na pag may naset out akong task, kailangan nakaplanado yan. Step 1, step 2, step 3. And pag nag-step 1, okay na. Step 2, okay na. Pero pag nag-step 3 ako, nako, nasira na yung plano dahil may nangyari na unexpected. Tuloy, tinatanong ko to sa sarili ko. What is wrong with me? San ba ako nagkamali? What did I do wrong? Yan. And oftentimes, I also don't voice it out. I don't speak to others about it. Or when others point fingers at me, they start blaming me for something that was an honest mistake. No? I ask myself, what is wrong with me? Pero dear friends, I'm so grateful and thankful to be part of the feast dahil the more na nakababad ako sa salita ng Diyos, the more I expose and overwhelm myself with God's love and those around me and fellow servants din at the feast. Nakakatawa mga servants. Even when they have their own weaknesses and limitations, they still find the strength to pour love into your life. And the same way, I also do my best to pour love around them. And sooner or later, because of Jesus blessing my life through the feast, this is the question that I also encourage and challenge you to ask yourself. Hindi, what is wrong with me? 
Kasi alam ng Diyos na talagang magkakamalik talaga tayo. But the question that we need to ask now is this. What is great about me? What is great about me? Dear friends, I want that question to sink into your life right now. Despite the struggles, despite yung storms, literally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, even through the loss that you have experienced this past over one year na, tong pandemic na to, I challenge you to still ask yourself this question. What is great about me? O, di ba? Will you wake up every morning and look at yourself in the mirror the same way as before if you ask yourself this question? What is great about me? Pero ito, dear friends, I challenge you to go deeper than just being about you. I challenge you to ask this question now as we are about to come into our worship in a while. Who is great in me? Who is great in me? Sa totoo lang, even when we point out yung mga wonderful strengths natin, yung, yung good character traits natin, limited pa rin po yun. Why? Kasi tao tayo. But if you acknowledge He who gave you everything that you are, who made you everything that you are, He who is in you is greater. Who is great in me? So sabi ni John sa scripture verse from 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, sabi niya, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Dear friends, kung naghihinayan kayo, you're feeling weak, useless, lost, purposeless, meaningless, hey, don't give up. Don't search your own strength, but search the strength that comes from God that is already in you. Because He who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. May naalala kong um, talk na binigay si Brother D. Doy Lubaton sa aming uh, uh, mga youth nung camp kwarto nila a few months ago, last June. And what really struck, hindi lang sa akin, pati sa mga youth, is this. Sabi niya, you may make mistakes, but you are not a mistake. Ulitin ko po. You may make mistakes, dear friends, as human as you are, but you are not a mistake. Why? Because God does not make mistakes. God does not make mistakes. Can I ask you to type in the comment section, I am not a mistake. I am not a mistake. I am not a mistake. And I'm also preaching to myself here, dear friends, to tell you honestly, hindi madali. <laughs> you're also play- facing your own challenges. You're facing yourself. Pero ito, when you make a mistake, and you will, no, you will, who do you focus on? Yan. Yourself or on God? I challenge you, dear friends, when we fall into our mistakes, when we fall into our fears, our anger, our envy, our jealousy, our pride, our lust, and we try to pick ourselves up every day, one step at a time, gumagapang na tayo, di po ba? Do you focus on yourself or on God? Because that's when we feel that we're unworthy. At talaga unworthy tayo when we focus on ourselves. But when we focus on God, that's when we realize His mercy is bigger than all of our mistakes. That is why sabi ni St. Paul, no? Sabi ni St. Paul sa 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, when uh, nakausap niya si Lord personally in prayer time, sabi ni St. Paul, but he said to me, si Lord ang tinutukoy niya, he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Yung sinabi ni St. Paul dito about boasting, I'm sure hindi yung pagyayabang, no? It's about admitting himself humbly before God. Friend, for us to find real strength, true greatness in us, is not to acknowledge ourselves, 
but to acknowledge God in our weaknesses. To acknowledge how Jesus came to save us from our sin and failures every day. Every day, araw-araw nandiyan ang Diyos. That's why, sabi ni Lord kay St. Paul, my grace is enough for you. Sapat na ang kanyang grasya. You're looking for forgiveness? His grace is enough. You're looking for strength, inspiration, meaning, purpose? His grace is sufficient. You're seeking to be complete, to be whole, to find intimacy, to find connection in this time of pandemic. God's grace is sufficient for you. Because by His power, by His love, is made perfect even in your weakness. Even in your weakness. That's why, dear friends, kahit literally may bagyo ngayon dito sa metro sa Pilipinas, or may metaphorically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, may bagyo sa buhay mo ngayon, kapatid. I want you to declare this right now. Jesus, You're stronger than any storm in my life. Jesus, you are greater than any storm in my life. Can we declare this today, friends? Jesus, you are stronger than any storm in my life. Why? Because, dear friends, He is God of the storm. He is God of chaos. And He is God of order and God's mercy is bigger than all of our mistakes. Friends, let's respond to this God who is love and mercy, who is bigger than the titanic ng mga kasalanan, mga failures, mga mistakes natin sa buhay because He can handle not just one person, but He can handle the whole human race. He can handle the whole world He can handle the whole solar system. He can handle the whole universe. Itong pandemya lang kaya. He knows our hearts. He knows what we are going through. And He is taking care of you. Friends, let's respond to this love. This love that invites us to trust in Him even in our mistakes, even in our failures, even in our weaknesses. We worship our God today, friends. And we come before His loving presence right now, wherever you are. God is embracing you and connecting with you right now. Let's worship Jesus, this God who is love.
this God who is love, who is perfect and whole, and we surrender our lives to Him because despite our brokenness, despite our many weaknesses and limitations and mistakes, He embraces us where we are, as is where it is. Thank you, Jesus, for coming and planting your seeds of love and dreams in our hearts today. And even when we feel that we are lost, and many dreams have been broken. Jesus, you will bring us back to life and bring our dreams whole again and make our person, our soul, our mind, our heart be complete again. And we know that when we give, we give out of our dreams that you have planted in our hearts, Jesus. Thank you because we know that everything that you have planted is because of your glory. Thank you, Jesus. In your most holy and mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Oh, my heart, now and forever, my soul cries out. Here I stand, high and surrender, I need you.
Amen! Amen! Let's give God a clap offering kung saan man po kayo. Let's just give thanks to our God today and truly He is good. His mercy knows no bounds. And truly again, dear friends, God's mercy is bigger than all of our mistakes. Amen! Yan. And dear friends, as we are about to wrap up our session today, tawagin ko ulit ang at, uh, aking uh, co-host, co-engager, Brother Nico. Yan. Hi, Amen. brother. Yan. Hello, Yan. Yes. Grabe. Praise God. Grabe. Amen. 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 Message ni Lord. Sabi yes. Diba? God is so good. And of course, no, Nico, as we continue to invite everyone to join us and journey with us sa ating Peace at Home Taglish session, we also invite everyone to be part of the movement of giving no, through our many, many mercy ministries. So join us and continue the cycle of generosity as we share God's love and mercy through the blessings that He has given us every day. Every day po ito. No? So, alam nyo, ang dami mga mercy ministries that would need our help at this time. Uh, ang dami and one of the closest for me is he cares uh, uh, center talagang reaching out to uh, mga street children no uh, mga bata na sa lansana, no? and of course uh, LOJ Pastoral Care mamaya we'll also share more about that prison ministry media ministry that helps our feast sessions and uh, programs be online live ngayon no and uh, of course aside from our feast mercy ministry we also have our Hashtag the Feast Little Acts of Love, no? Ito mga ginagawa ng mga feasts around the world na uh, with their initiative. With your giving, no? We're able to uh, give away mga COVID care package sa mga servants and those uh, na who are afflicted with COVID right now. Uh, and syempre, hindi lahat naka, uh, makapag, uh, punta sa hospital or makapag-stay, uh, no? Dahil sa puno ng mga hospitals, we're also able to reach out to them. And of course, mga uh, care packages, kagaya ng mga pagkain, mga daily needs to those who are in need at this time. How can you join us? Ito po ang mga details on your screen of our Union Bank Timo branch, uh, the builder of the Light of Jesus Family Mega Manila Feast Bay Area Incorporated. Yan ang account name. And our account number is 000-4000-24937. Yan. And with swift code UBPHPHMM. For your checks, pwede din po, diretso sa The Feast Bay Area. For your online transactions, kung mas mabilis po ang PayPal or credit card, do visit us at www.thefeastpiccpm.com forward slash give. Yan. And of course, uh, Brother Nico, no? good news talaga na most of our online in the transactions ay through Gcash din ngayon, no? hindi lang online uh, banking. So here we have our QR code. Please do take a screenshot yan, and uh, use it for your uh, reference no? para mas mabilis din na uh, sa panun ngayon na online tayong lahat. Again, take a screenshot of this QR code for your GCash transactions. Yan, for our final announcements, Brother Nico. At patuloy pa rin natin iniimbitahan ang ating mga manunood ngayon po na nakatutok sa atin sa Facebook at sa YouTube dahil bukod sa Ministry of the Year, meron po tayong LOJ Pastoral Care Center na available po mula lunes hanggang Sabado alas 8 hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. Ito po ay para sa lahat na nangangailangan ng kausap ng taong makikinig para sa kanila. Yeah, meron po tayong yes. live chat sa www lojpcc.com or fb.com slash lojpastorcare at yes. uh, meron din pong mga numero na nakalagay at nakaflash po sa ating mga screen na pwede nyo pong is, uh, o pwede nyo pong screenshot no? para po updated po tayo at syempre kahit nga po malayo tayo at uh, lagi po tayong mag-iingat at huwag pong kalilimutan nandito kami para sa inyo para kayo pakinggan at para kayo kausapin Yes. At, uh, yes, Brother Tony, patuloy po natin iniimbitahan ang ating mga manonood sa ating mga programa. Gayun din, pag po matapos ang lahat, no, ay samahan niyo po kami para sa ating Zoomustahan pagkatapos ng ating, ating session. Ang link po ay naipadala sa ating comment section para po ito sa mga first timers at yung mga Regular attendees din po natin. Welcome din po kayo. No? Yes. 
gathering mamaya pagkatapos po ng Tagi Session. Tara na! Zoomustahan na! At uh, yan, patuloy pa rin po natin invitahan ang ating mga manonood sa ating mga uh, pang-araw-araw na programa. Ayan, lunes hanggang linggo. At uh, alam natin ang patuloy na pag uh, daloy ng grasya ng Panginoon para sa atin. Manatiling pong nakatutok sa ating mga programa, sa ating FB page, sa Light of Jesus Family, at sa face, uh, Facebook, sa face, sa Facebook Bay Area. At ang ating uh, live session ay karaniwang nagsisimula no? ng alas 8 ng gabi, araw-araw. Ayan, Brother Tony. At uh, yeah. muli, no? maraming po maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok sa amin at uh, nawa pagpalaing po tayo. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, no, Brother Nico. Uh, we also like to invite our uh, viewers and listeners kung na-bless po kayo sa message, sa talk natin ngayon. We have good news. We are still ongoing with our series. May Talk 3 pa next Sunday. You don't want to miss that out. And if you believe you know someone who needs to hear that message, God's message for today, Pwede nyo din i-share ang link na ito o kaya itag nyo sila for Team Replay. Pwede nyo pano- panoorin ulit. And of course, we're excited to see you not only next Sunday but every day of the week with our online shows, our online programs. So muli, this has been a beautiful Sunday and we're excited to see you next week. Muli, this is Brother Tony Valenzuela. Siyempre, kasama ko si... Brother Nito Ginoong Kaunta. Yeah, and of course, be blessed, be safe throughout this week and be excited for God's surprises and provision for your life. At siguradong merong magandang mangyayari sa'yo! God bless you everyone! Be safe! Kita-kits sa sumustahan! Yeah.